In 2000 and 2001, ash trees near Detroit, Michigan began to die at alarming rates. In 2002, the culprit was discovered, the emerald ash borer, a small jewel green beetle that was accidentally introduced from northeastern Asia. During its larval stage, emerald ash borer, or EAB, feeds under the bark of ash trees, excavating tunnels that disrupt the tree's internal plumbing between the canopy and the roots. The adult beetles emerge from the tree in search of new victims, leaving telltale D-shaped holes in a tree which starves and dies within several years. Ash species are found in nearly every county in the United States and are valuable landscape trees. Their strong and flexible timber is used in wood flooring, tool handles, baseball bats, and many other products. They're very important ecologically, making up one out of every three trees in some forests and supporting diverse ecosystems. In the 12 years since its North American discovery, EAB has spread to 23 U.S. states and two Canadian provinces, leaving tens of millions of dead ash in its wake and showing no signs of stopping. In southeastern Michigan, where the infestation began, less than 1% of the ash trees remain alive, and all North American and European ash tested show some susceptibility. The very existence of North American and European ash species is under threat. We stand to lose a multi-billion dollar resource and an essential piece of our forest ecosystems. The first thing many people think when they hear Ohio State is football. And actually, football provides a pretty good metaphor for the emerald ash borer problem and our approach to solving it. Even the ultimate home field advantage, the horseshoe of Ohio Stadium, isn't enough for this green ash to successfully hold off the emerald ash borer. It just doesn't have the right tools. It's never played this opponent before. To save North American and European ash, we're reaching into another team's playbook. Asian ash species have grown up with the emerald ash borer. They played every year and they know all the tricks. Inside each plant cell, the genome is like a playbook for every game the plant has ever played. It's enormous. Plants have evolved mechanisms to know when to call certain plays, when genes should be turned on. As outside observers, we don't know which plays are the ones that work against DAB. By sequencing the genomes, you can compare every single play in the playbook of resistant Asian ash and susceptible North American ash. But that would be difficult and time consuming, and we wouldn't know if the differences were based on emerald ash borer or something else they've encountered in their evolutionary history. What we can do is sequence the transcriptome to see what genes are expressed when the tree is under attack, what plays are called to defend against EAB. By comparing the genes involved in the successful defense of the resistant trees with those of the unsuccessful defense in the susceptible trees, we can find the differences, the resistance genes. When we find those, we can locate the plays in the playbook of the genomes and use selective breeding to make sure that North American ash are able to defend themselves on their own. The resistant North American ash we will breed could help replace some of those killed by EAB and they'll reproduce on their own to help offset some of the massive commercial and ecological losses.